Welcome back everyone, Tech5 here. And uh, today's video is going to focus on how to bypass the iCloud lock on a MacBook. And here I will show that I am logged in completely on into my Apple ID and also that the iCloud drive is turned on and find my Mac is turned on everything is turned on completely now there's a few steps to this process and it takes about an hour because it takes a while to load but to get started i will first log out of my macbook to show you guys that there is a password on it i'm logged in as myself and when i type in a random password or use the fingerprint it will show you that i cannot enter and that's because i have my own personal password on it so we're gonna shut down we're gonna do command r hold that when your computer is restarting and that will take you to the boot os window from here you're gonna get a window saying mac os recovery and for that, we're going to click Erase Mac. And here's the thing. When you click Next, you can't click that button. What you have to do is click Erase Me. I mean, Erase Mac. And then you're going to click Confirm to Erase Mac. And it's going to do the whole process. Now, if you don't want to Erase Mac, I will show you later in the video that there's a simpler process to do this but if you bought a macbook from ebay um, craigslist close up or whatever app and it came with icloud lock you need to do this now when everything boots up you need to log into your wi-fi and it's going to take a little bit time of to load and every single step is going to be a loading process constant load um, takes total like I said about one hour or so so once it finishes loading you're going to get a window first you're gonna get an Apple logo that's going to take you through the loading again but then you get this window with language and it's this is your basic setup process uh, choose your language in my case English And then it's going to examine volumes and then it's going to take you to the window saying activate Mac. And like I said, load and load and load. Choose your uh, place, in my case, United States. Click continue, skip the keyboard, choose your Wi-Fi. Now you have to log in to your Wi-Fi once again. Um, why? Don't ask me that. I don't know why Apple decided to make people log in twice. And once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, just follow the simple process and it's going to ask you to sign in with your Apple ID. Now, you don't know the Apple ID, so what you're going to do is click Setup Later. Now here you're gonna create a username and um, password. I'll just do one, two, three, four, five. And then continue. And now you created a new account on the MacBook, even though there was an iCloud lock previously. And then skip through the rest of the menu. Um, disable Siri I'll set it up later because I don't want to do the whole process right now and then fingerprint don't activate that just continue through skip that continue uh, choose your theme light or dark 
and then true tone display does not matter and here it's going to set up your Mac and after that there you go you are completely logged in now let me show you another variation so command R again let's say you are not deleting your information off the Mac so then you would get Mac OS utilities you go to utilities and you go to terminal and then in the terminal here is the important thing there is a one specific way to type a command and the command is reset password if you misspell reset password nothing is going to happen it just doesn't say command not found if you type in reset password with space it's going to tell you command not found so you have to type reset password all together and when you do that take a look at the window in the back it automatically pops up with reset password remember I just set a password one two three four five so now it's asking me to reset a password so if you just forgot the password and you don't have an iCloud log this is the way to reset the password if you did forget the iCloud log you have to do the video from the beginning very easy and it's sad how easy it is to reset Apple's password even though they advertise the most secure thing blah 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 in the world um, that's it hopefully you enjoyed this video guys hopefully it works for you if this video helped you and you bought an you know Mac from eBay or anywhere like that give me a thumbs up and uh, comment below if this video did help now go to my channel tech5 on YouTube and uh, I'm the first one usually there and subscribe to my channel because that helps a lot as well and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time